house. It's so pretty. Thank you. I need to get my, the, the weather I told my flower bed. Oh, no. So I need to get it redone. It's nice how you don't have any houses back there behind you. I know, yes. How much uh, would you take for the whole bag of the jewelry? Three. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Thanks. Is your house newly constructed? Is yes. It? Okay, I can yes. tell. It's so I, cute. We had another house here. We actually had lived here for 26 years. Okay. And then this one just was built three years ago. Oh, okay, 26 years you guys have been here? Yes. Wow. We've yeah. been in the area for about... So that means y'all got a good draining system yeah, here, so, huh? Uh, but like everybody around us did, they got flooded totally out. Oh, my goodness. So, but, um, we just, I guess we were just blessed. Yes. Too, so that that has something good. to do with it, too, huh? Yeah, <laughs> <we're good. laughs> yes, Oh, that's so great. Yeah. Oh. That's right. It's almost like a second family, yeah. I bet, huh? And I always say, I always have to laugh because I always say that. Uh, I say if I, uh, I ever hit the lottery, I say, all of y'all moving, I'm going to buy a whole division. <laughs> y'all got to move where I move. <laughs> that's so funny, but that's true, huh? Yeah, so it's a blessing. Yes. And your clothes, how much are you asking? I know what it is. Okay. Anywhere from five to like this here. I got a couple things hanging on that brand new so I'm, Oh yeah. Like a warm-up set is ten. Okay. And then this this is cowhide. So I paid a well actually it's still new. So, oh wow. Yeah, it's fifty, so I'm asking twenty for that. So that's pretty. Yeah. Well, so far we've managed to steer clear of any I know, hurricanes, so right? I mean, it's hot, but you know, hey, um, gosh, when I think about all the destruction, because like they, uh, that that this last uh, hurricane was over there in Florida. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a hur uh, oh, category five. Now, yeah. You know, we hadn't had that and ages and that's kind of scary when you very about, scary and then you got all these you got about four four more out there yeah now, you know just and know, i heard the depression. bahamas were just destroyed oh, man. you know um i'm from galveston and like yesterday they were showing back in the day from 1900 storm oh yeah and that's how bahamas look now oh my gosh just planks and stuff everywhere just total destruction I, you know, it's so sad. Uh, let me tell you, and, I, and and the thing about it, I tell you, that's a scary thing because I even even with Harvey and stuff, when I seen this stuff here, just being around here, it it messed with my mind. You know, yeah. you you have to really, you can't sit there and look at that TV all no, day you can't. or look at that, mm -hmm. listen to that stuff because it it's, will it, it will consume you. Yes, ma'am, it will definitely consume. I you. depend on my husband to give me most of the news. Oh, I yeah. can't, I can't sit there and watch it. So, uh -huh. so, you know, that, yeah, that's just it's a build a lot. And definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck to Thank you. you. Appreciate you. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm at home now with all of the jewelry, and I'm with this one. It's just jam-packed full of stuff. And this little bag here, there's a bunch of items as well. And it also came with this neat little Mary Kay case here. It's kind of filthy, but it is empty. Um, somebody wants this, let me know. But yeah, just a little, I think it's like for carrying, probably just some makeup, maybe some uh, some eye pencils or lipstick pencils. So it's a little dirty, just needs a little cleaning up. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff. So 
I am about to dump all this stuff out and we are gonna see what we can find. Now keep in mind, I got everything that you see here for $3. So I'm gonna dump it all out. Okay, we got it all emptied out now. It was full, it had like some little makeup brushes and some different uh, makeup pieces. So yeah, let's see what all we can find. Now this, I found this on top. It's actually a brooch. It's not marked in any way. And it is broke but, bro but you can see where the brooch used to be like right here and right there so i'm going to keep this piece i'm going to try and um, add some stones to it and fix it and just maybe kind of use it as a decorative piece i think it'll look cute maybe sitting like on top of some books a stack of books or something i just love it so i got to keep that all right so let's see what all we can find in here Okay, I now have everything laid out. I've gone through everything. I've picked out my favorite pieces. I got them over here in the bag and I'm about to show you in just a second. Um, a lot of this stuff is missing stones. A lot of it is really worn. Like see this, this piece right here. Um, and some of it honestly just probably needs a good little bath. It's just kind of dirty. So all of this will be up on eBay starting for $9.99. I'm gonna do an auction on this whole entire lot and we will do uh, $7.95 uh, padded flat rate shipping for this. If you guys are interested, uh, by the time you watch this video, this auction will be up. So I'm also including these, uh, Mary, this Mary Kay bag. That bag that it came in is pretty dirty, but it would hold the jewelry. And then this neat little drawstring bag as well. So all the bracelets, even that makeup. <laughs> So yeah, it was so much fun to go through all of this. I found some really neat pieces. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys think of all this. All right, now let's get into the good stuff and show you all the stuff I've got. Now, is there a chance that I uh, missed something? Sure, definitely. I can tell you one time I sold a lot of watches to a friend for $250. And he actually found a watch within that lot that was worth $1,500. So um, I'm only human, I do make mistakes, I don't know everything, I don't always catch all the markings. So um, definitely if you wanna take a chance on this lot, it will be available. It was fun to go through. I think you'll have fun going through it too. Okay, you guys, the pieces I am keeping. So all of these rings right here, none of these are marked, but wait, I think this one is. I think this one was marked Sterling. Yeah, I think this one's marked sterling. I just need to clean it up. Um, this one is not marked, but I just thought it was really pretty. This, I've never seen anything like this. This is like a little bitty tiger ring. Wait, like that. And it's hinged. So how cool is that? I just thought it was too cute not to keep. Um, same with this one. Little rhinestone ring. It's not marked, but I just thought it was really pretty. This piece you would think would be marked. It's really elegant, I feel like, but it's not. But it's a really pretty, just a gold tone uh, rhinestone pendant. This is a pearl Napier piece. So I thought I would give this one a little bath. And what I mean by bath is I'm just going to um, clean it up with some soap and water and then I'll probably get that one listed. This one wasn't marked, but I felt like it could be sterling. I'll have to do some more research on that one. These are definitely marked sterling. I think it's probably like gold over sterling. This one, I'm thinking these might be sterling. They're not magnetic. I don't see any markings on them. This is the ring, and then it also has this matching bracelet as well. That's a cool piece. And this is a, oh, I have it upside down. It's a Gucci watch. Okay, so is it real? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. But uh, nevertheless, I thought it was an interesting piece. Let me set it down so my hands aren't shaking so bad. Let's see if that will focus. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys think that this could possibly maybe be real. 
might take it up to my jeweler and see what he says. Uh, this is a neat piece as well. It is a Monsters Inc. You got Mike and Sully on there. And then the back is marked 2012 Disney Pixar. A little heart pen, gold tone. And again, my neighbors are outside. <laughs> I don't know what that is, a feed or something. Um, here's a like a vintage rhinestone pendant. And it's marked Sterling too. And we have a little gold. This is actually a 14 karat gold. Oh, neighbors. Um, 14 karat gold, little stud earring. This piece is a Pandora uh, little charm. And the reason I know that is because it is marked on this side. You can barely see it, but it does say L-A-L-E. And I'm pretty sure that means Pandora. Um, this piece is nice. It's got this big pearl, little cocktail statement ring. And I think this piece is marked sterling. I'm trying to see. I can't remember. But yeah, keeping that one. Um, and then I thought this little dog was really cute, this little Dalmatian dog. And he is marked on the back, Korea. And we got a couple pendants here on sterling silver necklaces. This is a real pretty heart one. And then we have this nice cross one, but I actually just noticed it's missing a stone right there. I guess like a little baguette. Probably, oh, it's missing one right there too. Um, and the piece de resistance, or however you say it, is this ring, you guys. Um, it's actually marked 10 karat gold, and those are diamonds there in the center. So I'm excited. The melt value of this ring is only about $50. Uh, gold prices are really low right now, so if you're looking to buy gold, now's the time. But if you're looking to sell gold, it's definitely not a good time for that. Uh, but you can see right down there it is marked. But since this does have diamonds in it, I mean, the chances of it being diamonds are more likely just because it has a 14 karat gold setting. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this piece. I don't even know where I could sell it because my jeweler usually only takes just uh, the stuff that he takes for scrap, gold scrap value and sterling and stuff like that. So, but yeah, and it's a perfect fit on my finger. Let me see if I can show you guys. Oops. Well, it does fit my ring finger. So, really nice piece. I just love it. So, yeah. Love my neighbors, too. <laughs> so, yeah. Can you guys believe it? Oh, my God. I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. But, yeah. Very awesome. Love it. Um, so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And subscribe if you haven't already. And um, be sure and go check out my lot on eBay. My user ID over there is uh, thrifty-treasures. And the link for my eBay store, you'll be able to find that in my description box. So um, thanks again, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.